sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry? Oh. You frightened me half to death. <laughs> you hit my chin. You startled me. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I came for a smack in the mouth. How about you? I didn't know who you were in the dark. You could have been anybody. Do you know who I am now? No. This is my place. It's a secret. <laughs> Nobody knows about it but me. Your place? Sorry, but this was my place nobody knows anything about long before it was yours. You're not a... No, I'm not. What's wrong? Nothing. Hello? <laughs> Don't want to talk about it? No. Okay. Should have known there'd be a whole new generation of sneaky kids sneaking around. No, I had to when I was your age. Take all the unique experiences you can get somewhere like this. There aren't many around. So you're from around here then? I used to be. How come I've never met you? You probably have, but you don't remember. How do you know? Who's your mum? Lily Thompson. No, I've met you. When? At a guess, about 15 years ago. Your mum had a garden party and my mum made me go. Who's your mum? Jacqueline Crane. You're Mrs Crane's boy? I used to be. No one's seen you around here for years. Hello. Sorry for hitting you in the face. It's alright. I'd have done the same. Why did you come back? Well, I heard there's a nefarious plan to put my old teacher in a box and bury her underground. So I had to come back and put a stop to it. You had Mrs Grist? Oh, everyone in the entire village had Mrs Grist. I had Mrs Grist. Father Ma had Mrs Grist. The Polish butcher had Mrs Grist. She was getting old. She'd been getting old forever. I bet she never retired, did she? No. They tried, but she threatened to take us down with her. She would as well. She used to tell us that she kept a gun in her desk, just in case. One day I crept in during break to see if she was telling the truth. Did you find it? Oh, I couldn't tell tales on Peggy Grist. She was nice. She was mad. What's your name? Nev. I'm Very. You're Very what? It's short for Verity. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Are you hiding? I don't know. What will make you say that? Well, are you waiting for someone? No. Then you're hiding? Not necessarily. I could be lost. You don't look lost. You do. Have you got a... No. You must be thinking of someone else. I've just got one of those faces. Oh. So just your face is lost. It'll turn up. Good. You could use it. Go away. Were those yours? Nope. Did you ever fall in love with someone that you didn't like very much? hours ago. Where have you come from? Uh, the post office. What? It's a decent job. Oh, Ben. Look, okay, they respect me and I don't have to take any work home. And you should have seen my last Christmas bonus. It was very reasonable. Ben, Ben, Ben. Who's the wine for? Oh, and I'm sure that you've turned up at a hideaway out of the blue for completely virtuous reasons. <laughs> How long have you been there? Seven years, Nev. You are right. Yeah. Missed you, you know? No, missed you too.
You've been home yet? Uh, not yet. Ah, oh, pity. There's seven years worth of Christmas cards waiting for you. Stop it. Oh, I have birthdays too. Deliver them yourself, did you? <laughs> they have been getting a little bit sarcastic in recent years. Go on. Dear Nev, happy 24th, if you have made it this far. If you are still alive, here's to hoping that the weather's nice this time of year. If you have died, the weather will probably seem immaterial. Lots of hypothetical love, Benjamin. Well, here I am. Hmm. Couldn't have left a forwarding address? I don't have one. <laughs> what, are you a sailor? Nope. Married to the sea? I'm a sales rep. What do you sell? Watches. Nice ones. What, door to door? Just me and my case. So you're homeless, that's what you're telling me. <laughs> in a manner of speaking. Most reps don't like the long routes. Too much time away from home. So why you've got the market cornered. Who's the wine for? Fine. I am meeting a girl later. But that's against the rule. Nev. Okay, don't be mad or anything. Why? She's not engaged, is she? No, not exactly. Well then, why would I get mad? Okay, actually, she's married. Married? To who? Well, that's not... Okay, it's Dr. Simmons, but... Dr. Simmons' <laughs> wife? She must be about 60, Ben. No, 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 okay. Yeah, he's remarried, okay, it's his new wife. Oh, well, he knows how to pick them. It happened a few months ago. And the defence rests? That's not it. It's Sally. Sally? Sally. Sally Grist? Yeah, technically it's Simmons now. She's but... married and having an affair with you. Okay, yeah, okay, it's a lot to take in and I'm trying to ease you in gradually, but... But it's Sally. Yeah, it's our old friend Sally, but... You know, we sneak around, we, we, we hide out, we drink, and we have fun. You and Sally? Yeah, me and Sally. Oh, I'm sorry, I probably should have said something just straight out. But... No, it's okay. It's been a long time. Oh. It's okay. Are you sure? I'm not in love with you. Okay. I was never in love with you. Fine. Anything else? And I don't plan on ever being in love with you either. Good. Thanks. It's nothing personal. It just didn't happen. I was never in love with you. I don't remember asking you to be. Yet yeah, that's the point you didn't. I cared about you. Sally, I mean it. Of course you cared, you idiot. We were best friends for 13 years. Then we kiss twice and you leave forever and I'm stuck here as the girl with a heart broken by Nev Crane. But you didn't break anything. Well, I'm glad. You don't believe me, do you? I left you crying. I walked out through those trees and all I could hear for miles around was you in here sobbing. I've carried that sound with me for an age. Don't tell me it didn't matter. Because I knew things had changed for nothing. I felt stupid. It was a joke. Sally. Nev, we just decided we looked good together and suddenly felt like we had to throw everything else away and leap at each other. God knows why. Because it sounded like a good idea. What kind of a reason's that? The same kind of reason you Don't married. talk about Ron. Listen, Nev, just think about it, please. It was nice. You were nice. Well, it was nicer before when we actually meant something to each other. It was. I like that. Well, you didn't show it. As soon as we decided to go back to how it was before, you disappeared. Well, not because of you. I wasn't running away from anything. I never wanted to hang around here, picking up pine cones, or working in the post well, office. You could have reached out somehow. I was left here to listen to everyone else's soppy, growing up rubbish, when all I really wanted to do was find out what had happened to my friend, Nev. Did your head office ever tell you when I rang? Yeah. I was impressed at how long you kept trying. You know when I stopped? When was the last time we were all together? Us and Dad. Yeah. End of college? Nope. No, it was the bonfire night, the last time we were all here. Was it? Yeah. 
I remember basically forcing Dan to come to the big shed reunion. I had to pick him up at Selby's Cross to get him here. <laughs> Worth it, though. I remember then, too. All the bangs and booms and whistles. Just faintly. It sounded like they were miles and miles away. Childhood friends, eh? You didn't do too badly, given your lack of choice here. Ben was having none of it. I remember he stormed off after about an hour to go and meet his family and said... And then Dan wasn't staying if Ben wasn't staying. And then it was just me and you. Just you and me. Why did you come back? I liked Mrs. Green. Fine. Neb? Yeah? Don't think I don't want to hate you just because I can't. I'll bear it in mind. I'll see you at the funeral. Are you in trouble here? No. I don't want to know any details. I don't want to get involved. I just want to know, are you in danger here? Yes. Right. This is very simple. I'm going to go out that door to my car. It's by the fallen tree, do you know it? Yes. And I'm getting you out of here. God knows you don't want to waste your life in this place like everyone else. No. But I cannot make this call for you. You've got ten minutes. If you're not there, then I am gone. All right? Ten minutes. Stay or go. Right. No, I don't want to. What? I can't do this anymore. Barry, if you don't, then I can't. Let me go. Oh. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Nev? Oh, Jesus. Nev, I thought... I thought it was somebody else. Where was he? It's no use thinking of it that way. What's wrong with you? Why can't you give him the dignity of the consequences of his own actions? He might as well have not come back at all. Look, I don't care what Nev does. I just want to spend time with you and your family now, and... Verity, hello. Is this Simmons? Shouldn't you be at the reception? I picked her up. The service was a bit much for her. I didn't see you there. I was late arriving. Thought I'd wait outside. It was a long service. I was patient of you. I had to talk to Vera. You could have met her at the reception. It's catered. Wouldn't have felt right. Seems I missed the service. Yannick has put on a good spread. I think I'd like to stay here a little longer. You expecting someone else? You haven't heard anything from Nerf, have you? Not recently. No. We kind of just turned up to smoke half my cigarettes and bugger off. Nev's been in town. Just long enough to skip the funeral. I can't believe they do this to her. To Nana Peggy, everyone loved her. Do what? I thought you said the nurses took good care of her. I know she's dead, you idiot. But then... I couldn't ruin this day for her, could I? Everyone in the stag is sitting there sharing their memories, their fond memories of Nana Peggy, and if I go in there and tell them her house was robbed while she lay there dead in the next room, it would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Sarah, I'm so sorry. You're a fake. Oh, she is dead. You're a Very, shut up. You knew it was her house. Very, what are you talking shut about? Shut up, nothing. She said nothing. Couldn't. Not you. You said no one in this village. You said only those that had too much. Dan, shut up. Get away from there. She gave something to everyone in this village, Dan. Even you. Dan, if she's telling the truth, I am. Oh God! Everybody just shut up! Put it down. Stayed. Put it down. Oh God, you killed him. I was gonna get out. We just needed a bit more and we could have got out. We could have run for miles. You shot Nev. How come he can just disappear in the blink of an eye? Leave us all behind. You forgive him? Not because he's Nev. And he is gold. He stole from her. This gun's from her desk. You were there. He never shot anyone with it. Ah! Get off her! Dad, for God's sake, get off her! You like me, don't you, Barry? After everything we did together, you'd never leave me for a man like Nev, would you? I talked to him. He did what? He listened to me. He didn't have to, but he did it anyway. Nobody listens to me. He told me things. Like what? He told me about you. You were running away to him. He offered me an escape. How could you? An escape from you. I took it.
necessary did you help him? No. I'd wait in the car. I had no idea about... about Mrs. Grift. Have you ever touched that gun? No, never. Then get out. There's no need for you to be caught up in all this. I'm sorry. You wanted to get out before, with him. I'm offering you the same. Thank you. Do the same. What? Do the same. You can get out too. Ben, we can both. <laughs> You know, we can't. We'll be chased. I couldn't do that to you. It's only the post office. Run, Sally Grist. There'll be somewhere new for you. Ben, I... I'll always remember you, you know. This place never forgets anything. Thank you.